There are tons of traditions within the Houston band. The biggest one, of course, being a tradition of excellence. Really, the band gives you a lot of opportunities to be able to, if you take the right steps in the doors, you can be a great leader. To be a part of the program means having certain characteristics, responsibility, discipline, respect, kindness. Everyone here just loves each other. It's a one big giant family. I would say band camp is probably the most important thing that we do all year. It's very, very fulfilling to see how far they've come in only three days. We're in week two of our uh, kind of summer activities with the Houston band. Last week was uh, percussion camp, color guard camp, and leadership camp. And then this week is what we call full band camp, where every single student in the band program comes together and really knocks out about half to two thirds of the work for our competitive marching band show. There are kind of two symbiotic goals of band camp. Um, there is the uh, musical slash academic side where the students need to learn the show music, learn their drill, um, get accustomed to kind of the, the traditions and the procedures that we have here with the Houston band. And then there's the other side of it, which is the students just get to meet each other. It's a chance for the incoming freshmen and the incoming transfer students um, to get a shot at meeting new people in their class, in their grade, in their instrument section, uh, and beyond. For me, sectionals, it's just drum majoring, but I know when I was in percussion, especially like sectionals was just where we really became a family and like got to know each other while also enjoying music and learning music. And I think that was really, it was just like really fun for me, just being around our, our section and like learning music, it was really fun to be in sections. I really like meeting the new people and like, especially like reuniting with my friends. And I just really like learning the new music and the show. I think my favorite part about band camp is the first day where you get to meet all the new freshmen and you get to experience what the first day of band camp is. Band camp is really good for the freshmen especially. It's good for the sophomores and upperclassmen because it's a good refresher for them to make sure they're doing everything right. But the freshmen, it's a really good kickstart to showing them the basics, what bands like, and just really how a community it can be. With our program, it is so important to us that the feeling of community, camaraderie, um, it is not anything coming from the adults to the kids, it is giving the student leaders the resources, tools, and knowledge that they need to where they can uh, encourage new members, get to know them, make sure that everybody feels like they're part of the team. Um, that does not happen from the, the top down. It, it really starts and ends with our wonderful student leaders. So 
we're going to start off in the morning, bright and early at 8.30, and we're going to do some of the basics. Start off with your section members, you know, hang out, talk to everybody, have a good time. But then once you're in basics block, it's, which is the grid that we start off in, we straight to work. So we start out in sectionals uh, where we do all of our stretching and we get ready for the day. And then we go into a basics block, which is where we all form a block on the parking lot and you learn your marching fundamentals and your techniques. And then you go into drill learning where you learn the formations of the show on the field. And then you go inside to do more sectionals to work on music and big band, which is all the band together and you work on the music for the show. And then back outside to do more drill. I will say it's not easy. It's definitely not easy, but I think as a musician, like playing your instrument isn't going to be easy, but I think that's what makes it fun, is being able to challenge yourself and being able to push yourself. But yeah, it's not easy. You do a lot of reps. There's a lot of hustle. There's a lot of put like other people pushing you to do things that you don't really want to do at the time. But like once you get to the end of the season or once you get to that like competition and you're like in front of the judges and stuff, like it's, it's what makes it worth it, even when you are a little bit miserable sometimes. <laughs> We're like outside like five hours a day, which is kind of hard, but everyone like pushes through. It is definitely difficult. I'm sure if you asked anyone to sacrifice a week of their summer to come out and march in the heat, they would say no, but it is necessary. It is hard both physically and mentally, but it is necessary to maintain the level of excellence for the marching band. For our 2023 competitive marching band season, uh, we have four competitions and four football games that we're going to be playing at. Um, and our marching show this season is titled Western Sky Sketches. Um, it is a beautiful mixture of uh, Americana folk music. There's going to be a lot of familiar sounds. I think it's going to be really engaging with the audience. And then on top of all of the, the music and marching that's happening, there's a, a beautiful storyline that I can't wait for everybody to get to see on the field this year. I'm actually really excited. I really like the music. The music is so good. It's very, it's different from last year's. I think it's a lot more um, like peppy and just like entertaining. I think it's a lot more entertaining than last year's. Um, I also think that the new group of people coming in are really excited to be here. And that's so refreshing to see because sometimes, you know, it's hot and stuff, so I get it. But like everyone's just like super eager to learn. That's really exciting for me to see people as excited as I am about being here. I do think we're going to have a great show. I think we're going to be very successful when we go to compete. Everyone's just so ready. Like, I, like everyone's so excited to get into drill, to play music, to go to sectionals. Like, everyone's leaving lunch early to go to sectionals. Everyone's leaving things early to just be able to play their instrument. I think everyone's just super excited to be a part of marching band. And we have a really big group of people who've never been a part of it before. And I think they're just really excited to see what it's all about. Uh, I just want to shout out our uh, brass captain, our woodwind captain, Jack Webster and Andrew Hoffman. They've just been doing a really great job this week, being leaders, being productive, being kind, but also firm, knowing what needs to get done and getting it to be done. I want to say all the section leaders are doing a great job in being able to you know, a lot of them were just thrown into this position with not a lot of prior knowledge. We only have two that were section leaders last year, but everyone's doing a great job in just making their own leadership way and making sure everyone's included. All, all of our band parents, all of our band moms is what we call them. Like they are literally like the, the, like the heart of our band. Like they do so much for us, like whether it's like feeding us, getting our uniforms, getting money for us to do things, driving us here, like it's, it's so great. But then also our, our staff, I think most of them are alumni, right? So coming back to Van Camp after we've left, like I, I feel like that's like such a, such like an honorable thing to do, to like leave Houston High, but then come back and teach the people in your band or in your section. I think that's so cool that they do that. 
I appreciate Mr. Taylor. He knows a lot about marching band and he knows what he's doing and he just makes the marching band great. I want to say thanks to Mr. Carpenter for working behind the scenes and just being a fantastic concert band director. We are really, really privileged here with the Houston Band due to the work that previous directors and community members have put in to have an exceptional staff uh, and community that supports our band during camp and throughout the whole season. Um, so we have two full-time classroom teacher positions that, that lead the band, that is me and Mr. Taylor. Um, we have a bunch of great part-time staff that is paid, by, paid for by the district as well as uh, the community support organization, uh, our booster program. Um, and everybody just, everybody understands that the goal is just making sure that the kids learn as much as they can. That the young musicians that make up our program um, are being pushed uh, as, as, as much as we possibly can while still making sure that what we do is fun and enjoyable for those students. Um, the other really important component to that is uh, all of the families that step up and, and make it happen too. We have uh, always a dozen or so people serving lunch to our students. We have parents in, in the first aid tent ready to help if a student trips or gets lightheaded in the heat. Um, we have tons and tons of support from tons of different angles because everybody understands that, that this band is, is a family and that, that what we do here is, is so much more, and I tell the kids this all the time, it's so much more than just like blowing air through a bunch of different tubes to make good sounds. That's a big part of it, but, but building up community and student leaders and, and a place of belonging is, is always first and foremost.